Welcome you guys, we are the University Brand Ambassadors. Um, I will just introduce myself. I am Kaya McKinney, a junior majoring in business administration. Greetings everyone, my name is Jada Ken. I'm a senior majoring in sociology. Greetings and good morning everyone. I am Keandra Sanders, a junior. Um, I major in psychology and I also minor in criminal justice. Hello everybody, my name is Heavenly Smith. Um, I am a junior, I major in health and exercise science. Um, Greetings everyone, my name is Mario Bimbry Jr. I'm a psychology major with a minor in biology. I am Machete McKinnon, a second year business administration major from Tallahassee. If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. Good morning, my name is Philip Henderson, a, a sophomore major in business administration from Quincy, Florida. First thought that you'll notice is our statue of our founder. So Bethune-Cookman University is the result of a merger in 1923. It first started out with the Daytona Normal and Industrial Training School for Girls, and then it, um, it kind of partnered with the the Cookman Institute of Jacksonville, Florida. So with that merger about two years later, um, then we became Bethune-Cookman College, and then years after that, then we became Bethune-Cookman University in 2007 um, on February 14th. Uh, um, Dr. Mary McCall Bethune started this institution, and this was a city dump in Daytona Beach, Florida. She started it with a dollar and 50 cents, five little girls, her son Albert, and just some faith in God. Her legacy that she was gonna leave, so that just speaks to, you know, just our founder, just monuments stuff. Uh, um, here is where we have a lot of, of the larger scale events for Bethune Cooking University. Um, that could be like the Ori Fair was hosted in here this year. People were able to come in and see if they wanted to get involved. Um, also our commencement ceremonies, as well as probates are in there if you know anything about D9, um, things of that sort. So all your tickets for any games. Um, we get free tickets for all of the home games, basketball and football. This is literally the athletic training center for the athletic department. Here. You have the uh, Gail L. Lemmeron nursing building. Um, that building is mostly for our nursing students and our psychology majors. Um, that building has hospital simulations, um, it has classrooms, offices, um, and yeah, pretty much. Your office of athletics as well as the bookstore. Now at the end of this tour, if you did want to go over there, I'm sure you have teacher discounts, but um, they should offer you a 10% discount just before taking We have the, uh, the Fine Arts Building, which is home for all uh, the performing arts and commu mass communication majors. You uh, come here for like, if you're in the theater arts, or if you want to do like broadcast journalism or anything like that, things of those nature. And uh, Computer Labs has majors, hospitality management majors. So you have conference rooms, um, a culinary arts lab, so anything dealing with business is This is one of the models that our founder definitely raised this institution off of. She definitely had a heart dedicated to service. So it was her duty to teach young African Americans and as well as the world around us that it's so important to continue to give back because we are nothing without everything that we create and implant within our communities. So just take a look and um, just admire that we do have this on every building on the outside it says enter to learn and then again on the inside it says depart to serve. These practice fields are host to you know mainly the football team, the um, track team and the baddest band in the land. Oh, wow. uh, so uh, yeah so you got you know you can uh, host many things on this field but mainly it's for the band and they go and they practice here. And when they practice, you can go and watch them. You just can't do any recording or anything. Tables that you see here, as well as we have banners hanging up from the light poles, decorated with some quotes from our founder. It's our Wildcat Dining Services, powered by Sodexo. Here you'll find places like your Southern Comforts, Little Italy, International Cuisine, Merry Sweet Spots, and so much more. Court styled, um, so students have the opportunity to choose whatever they like. Now you can use your Wildcat Bucks at our newest um, attraction, Wildcat Wings. They have um, multiple flavors that the students are really crazy about, or you can use them with Starbucks. So education, um, this building here is where the enter to learn and depart to serve is really huge because students come in here and this knowledge, they gain knowledge on how to become a teacher, whether that's elementary all the way up to the professor level. So there, this is where our student life is housed at. Tell me about it. So this right here, as you can see, is um, the library. Um, second floor of the library there, there is home to the about Two years ago, there actually was a hotel right here. It did get knocked down and it's probably one of the only buildings that we've ever let get fully demolished. It is the official home of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, and it is now called the Foundation. The Foundation is a national historic landmark, and as well as a United Methodist historic site. 
Uh, we used to give tours, but we closed them down um, due to COVID. But this building is just so sacred and special to us because the house is preserved as is. All the furniture, all her pots, pans, china, all of that <laughs> is basically the same. Bronson. That is a dormitory named after one of our presidents, um, Dr. Bronson. He served us for 29 years here on campus. Sorry, President Richard D. V. Moore had got up to $100,000 worth of donations to get this building started up. So this is very important. It's always really quiet in here. Um, the band is in here to study. Um, we got music. Uh, <laughs> music majors. Music majors. Um, here you're more gymnasium in 1958. Say his full name. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. and Dr. Bethune, you'll learn that he can talk about, about how he's learned so much from our founder and who she is today. And so that's a this special is moment. pretty much ideally the freshman hangout area or whatever you want to call it. These are the newest buildings called Phase 2D. Um, they are suite style, so you're having two students to a bedroom and then you're sharing a bathroom with your suite mates. Um, these are the most preferred dorms, so I would just definitely recommend any freshman student to hurry up and get into housing and book. Study here. Um, we have African-American studies here. Our science building. Um, this building has two floors. Um, this is also a place for our science major. We stepped on it. Luckily, already graduated. graduated. Yeah. Oh, she's a graduate. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it is this one. Before you graduate, then you're not going to it graduate. It was established as Bethune as a university in 2007, but it was originated in 1904. Cookman Institute um, was established in 1923, oh no, no, in 1872, and then they merged together in 1923, where our main principles are the head, hand, and hand. Always having yourself um, prepared to have a thirst for knowledge, always wanting to give back, and just having that love and charisma for everything that's great. Uh, we also have bike. <coughs> Down here we have the General Studies Building. You can see it all the way down in the corner of the street. This is back when um, Mary McLeod Bethune came here. The, uh, there was no she had this building built to be the first hospital for black people in this area and for the students as well. It's 1923. It was built in 1923, and then it became it came, became a, um, the General Studies Building as years passed, you know, because they had got the hospital in Halifax. I just think it's so amazing that she was able to create an entire hospital on our campus. It started out with two cot beds and then it originally graduated to about 22 beds within two years. This was the first African-American training school for ladies for them to be able to learn nursing and infirmary practice and stuff like that. Now, a little bit more about our founder, Dr. Mary McCall Bethune, was she was so innovative to create change. Now, she saw that um, it was very important for African-Americans to learn about financial wealth and security. So she partnered with some um, board of trustee members and created an um, insurance company. She realized that black people weren't allowed to go um, to the beach. So she purchased up to 10 acres of land on the beach and is now called Bethune Beach. To us, because we are a faith-based institution, and so many of the freshmen on Wednesdays, you have to go to chapel. You know, of course, every, everyone else is welcome to go to chapel as well. And you should, you know, go to chapel. But as a freshman, it is mandated. And so you'll go to chapel and it's on Wednesdays and class is canceled. There's, no, there's never any class on Wednesday during chapel time. You leave chapel, there's a great thing going on in the calf called Fried Chicken Wednesday. <laughs> so after you leave the chapel, it's kind of like a big line. Everybody leaves out the chapel and goes straight to the calf and then where you have your fried chicken, your macaroni, your collard greens. Like every hour or so, um, the chapel will ring, the bell will ring or they'll play music. And it's just uh, uh, back then, Mary would use that as a way to tell the students like to go to and from class. Um, Faith Hall was built in 1907. The original building burnt down in 1934. Um, the KKK used to circle our um, campus a lot and try to burn down our buildings and they successfully burnt down the CIT building. The two oldest residence halls that we have, we've got the Ferris Megs, uh, no, no, no. This is the Flora B. Curtis Residence Hall and then this is the Ferris Megs Residence Hall. These buildings were erected in 1956 and 1922 um, and they were female dormitories. They are abandoned. And you also have sport -like organizations or, you know, some of the uh, fraternities and sororities that you now we do have two grave sites on our campus. The one all the way on the other side of campus, which I forgot to mention, is of President V. Moore. He was our second president here. He served the university for 29 years, so he's definitely a really great president. 
but right now this is one of the most sacred places that we have on campus you will notice that a lot of students actually just come up here just to um, think and reflect and just talk have a little chat with our family it's um homecoming week um, during her birthday and then she passed me the students come and lay flowers lay flowers just to Give homage. Give homage. Pay homage. The time that Bell was actually wrong was when she passed away. So you know, kind of let the students know and let people know. And so it doesn't get touched. Yeah. Okay.